Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to our date night. We are so excited to have you guys here for our dinner date night details and to share them with you. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to have chicken fettuccine Alfredo. That's my favorite meal. And of course, it's cooked by my favorite chef, my hubby, Cam Bam. Look at him. Looking all sexy. You know, so thankful for tonight. And thank you, Kroger, for sponsoring this video you know, Kroger's doing an amazing job stocking the community with everything they need, and we're so thankful for that. Oh, and look at our son, Mr. Sparks. He came with his date night attire, with his bow tie. He's all ready to go, you know. Looking extra dapper tonight. And thank you, Mr. Sparks. <laughs> Looking like he's waiting for some crumbs. <laughs> so, of course, the first thing with date night, you got to set the mood, right? You got to keep it sexy, you know, get some sexy candlelight going, sexy lighting. Oh, uh, these napkins, I also pulled them out too. Uh, these are from Thanksgiving. Cam's mom made these and they have our initials on them. Added some fresh flowers from the garden. You know, smells good, looks good. Everything's special. And, you know, it just helps to intrigue all those other senses aside from those taste buds. Exactly. You know, the mood cannot be understated. Now, we are so thankful that we were able to get these groceries delivered by Kroger I mean, it's such a blessing to have them come right to your door and you're just ready to cook. So that's right, especially during this time when, you know, it's hard to really get to the grocery store. We're all kind of stuck inside. So the convenience of the delivery is awesome. Perfect. So we're going to get right into the cooking here. We're making a Greek salad tonight. Chicken fettuccine Alfredo. You know, I wanted to make a Greek salad because... You know, Lauren's from Detroit, and there's a lot of Greek food where she grew up. Oh, yes. And uh, actually, Detroit has a little part in the downtown area that is actually called Greek Town. So it's full of restaurants, all that. So, you know, I have a thing for feta cheese. Um, I know, Kim, you like olives and stuff like that. Peppers. Yep. I love it. So this is definitely a great choice. My baby knows me. <laughs> Look at Cam. He's even sexy when he's like peeling a cucumber. Look oh, at that technique. It, the chopping. <laughs> okay, you can keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I just love to cook for her because I just love to see her reaction. I love to see that she loves the food that I make. Mm -hmm. um, and it's fun for me. I just get into it. Yeah, I think that that's one of the sexy things about dinner date night is actually enjoying that time with your you know, your companion, your um, significant other. Wash your produce, people. It's important. <laughs> it is. And these cherries are so good, too. Cherry tomatoes, I should say, though they taste just like a cherry. Oh, They're so good, and they're good for snacking. I actually like to just eat them, like, by themselves, but they're extra good on a salad. Now, you can see here I'm really in the zone. You, know, you are focused, babe. When I'm cooking, I'm, like, on mission. Ooh, look at that feta. <laughs> Never have too much cheese. Never. <laughs> so we're getting that pasta started with the water first. Boil that water. We're gonna get the sauce base going. You know, a little garlic, a little butter. Ooh. Oh, look at those skills, babe. You could be on one of those like cooking shows. Oh, stop it. Oh, oh Mr. Whoa, 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 whoa. He likes to wait until we're distracted and then he does something. He thinks he's invisible with that bow tie. You know, just because you're cute doesn't mean you can get away with stuff. Garlic, one of my favorites. Now, y'all gotta be careful. If you're on a first date, you know, you don't, you kinda wanna hold off on a whole bunch of garlic, you know, because right. if you're gonna go in for a kiss, that's a lot. I mean, even though we've been married for a bit, we still want fresh breath, you know. You gotta keep it spicy. Have mints on hand. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so cam was looking so good guys i had to creep in here give him some kisses okay the food was smelling good he was looking good so i had to uh creep on in and fill him up a little bit you know kisses are a very important part of the cooking process it really helps speed things <laughs> along you know makes and, it enjoyable right and date night at home i feel like that's one of the awesome things you know as opposed to being in a restaurant it's like it's just you and your significant other and you're kind of at home in your comfort zone so that's even more better to you know have that privacy and enjoy each other and that being said you can see here that we actually got dressed up we wanted to look our best for each other and i think that's an important part of dates in general is it's all about the effort that you put in you know you want to show the other person you care Right, and there I am helping, okay? I brought the pasta in. I put it in the hot water. You know, isn't she the best sous chef? <laughs> 
Look at that technique of that that stir there. Ooh, That's a Mrs. Hamilton pasta that stir. That's a Mrs. Hamilton pasta stir right there. <laughs> All right, now we're patting that chicken dry so it gets a good browning on the outside. Cutting it in half lengthwise so that, you know, it cooks all the way through. Washing our hands, keeping good hygiene going, you mm -hmm. know. That is important, you know, in between cutting the chicken and then touching the the spices and stuff like yeah, that. You got to keep those hands clean, mm -hmm. especially on date night. Don't oh, touch yeah. your, your date with some chicken juice fingers. No, no, you don't want that <laughs> at all. Keep it clean, baby. This looks so good. It hasn't even been cooked yet. I don't oh, know what looks you, better, babe. the chicken or you, babe. Oh, stop it. Both look delicious. Look She's at them. She's so charming, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so man. you use salt, pepper, paprika. Right. Here, I'm just keeping it simple because I don't want it to overpower the sauce. You know, the sauce is kind of the main component here of this whole dish. Mm -hmm. So our pasta's been in there. It's al dente, firm to bite. And we drain in the water. The chicken's browned up. Look at that. That's like perfectly brown. Right? Oh, hey. Just like me. <laughs> you are perfectly brown. <laughs> and you want to taste your sauce, make sure it's right. In this case, it was very right. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Sparks, he was looking kind of bored, you know. So it's family date night. So I had to give him a little bit of attention, you know, grab the ball, mm -hmm. have a little throw. Look at that tail going. He's you know, happy too. this is one of his favorite games. You know, he'll sit here and play <laughs> for hours if we let him. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so we were finishing it off with a little Italian parsley. You know, the freshness of the parsley really complements the richness of this Alfredo. So that's what we want. More candlelight, keeping it sexy. Mm-hmm. And we're just finishing it off with a little vinaigrette, you know. Um, hey, what's a good salad without a fresh vinaigrette? And I actually love, like, the vinegar and the olive oil. It's actually a really good, not only is it tasty, but it's a healthy alternative to a lot of other salad dressings. That's too. right, that's right. And, you know, we just like making stuff at home, homemade stuff. So Add a little Dijon in there. It gives it that little twang. Twang! A little twang. <laughs> I got a little twang. <laughs> yes, you do. Look at that finished product. That looks so good, and it tasted even better. Kim literally makes some of the best fettuccine Alfredo I've, I've ever had. And I'm a hard critic, but it was delicious. Look at that presentation. <laughs> so good. Well, like Lauren said, you know, it's it's all the senses. Smell, taste, looks, you know, you want to engage it all. Start our date night for real now and have our meal. So thank you for tuning in and hope you enjoy. Gotta go. See ya. See ya. Bye. Date night. <laughs>